I started training Jiu Jitsu in 1998, right? So pretty much UFC one through three, I was sold, right? I was a big like Bruce Lee, you know, Kung Fu guy, right? And uh, I was almost upset, right? That these guys were losing, right? But I was sold, I was like, okay, fine, right? So of course we did what anybody would do, right? We went out and bought all the videos we could. Well, hold on, let me back that up. We bought all the VHS tapes we could. And uh, we started training like in his basement, you know? Uh, just ridiculous making up foot locks and, you know, stuff like that. And he joined Yamasaki Academy because really at the time, Mario Yamasaki was the only black belt anywhere near DC. I started training maybe a year afterwards. And, uh, you know, I was married, job, regular, regular Joe, no real plans on competing or anything like that. Just was, was interested in what I'd seen. But Mario Yamasaki, man, that guy's brutal, man. He, you know, are you competing? No, why? Well, so we start, I started competing in Jiu Jitsu and, and competed up until late Purple Belt and then decided, you know, I think I, think I want to start teaching. So I got my brown belt and uh, I was like, hey, let me open a gym for you guys. Let me, let me do this, you know. The gym was the safe place for you to go, right? You're at your day job or you're with no normal people all day and they don't understand. They don't have a release. Like the most common question I used to get at work is you never take vacations. I'm like, I don't really need to take a vacation. I don't need to go away for two weeks. I get a break every night, you know what I mean? So, so Z is, zaquan has been here a long time. He's been training on and off in the gym for a long time. And when he got here, his whole interest was MMA. So. Zaquan Corbin making his MMA debut. He's training about two years, and he's one of those cats who just grew into MMA. And he's coming out of a great gym in Yamasaki Academy. So, Mario you Yamasaki, know, absolutely. I, I mean, I have a hard time believing that, that he came in that light and misjudged his way in. He might just be a lighter guy who didn't have to cut much, put himself through a little bit of it to see where he's at. You know, a lot of amateurs will do that to really get the full. Z, Zay, Quan, I mean, it goes on, man. It just keeps going on. Honestly, when I was younger, I always was like into the, you know, like martial arts, fighting stuff, like, I mean, Dragon Ball Z, Power Rangers, that was, that was it right there. And then from there, you know, it just kind of grew until eventually I saw MMA and then I was like, that, that's it. You know, so then, like, as soon as I could, found, found this gym, same gym, been here ever since. I mean, for me, it's a little tough because, I mean, I'm up at like 5.30, go to work, off at 4.30. It takes me like an hour to get back around to Woodbridge. And I mean, I'm at house, um, Houseman at the hotel out in Sterling, so I mean, the traffic, the drive, so I mean, once I'm out, I'm pretty much straight here. Because regular life is boring. <laughs> I mean, just keep it real with you. Yeah, this is boring. <laughs> I mean, you know, wake up, 9 to 5, come home, then what, you just watch TV or something, then you wake up, do it again, live for the weekends. I, I didn't want that. I wanted to push myself, you know, because, um, I mean, I'm not the biggest guy there, so, I mean, I just wanted to just have something to push myself to say, you know, this is something that not everyone can do. He came and was like, I'm ready, and I was like, you're right, you're ready, you've been ready a long time, let's get you a fight. So, um, he fought on the last card, he just got a guy that was very good, very big. It scared my, honestly, it scared myself, kind of, because I, I mean, I was excited, yeah, and I was nervous, but then it was like, once I told myself, yeah, I'm nervous, you know, I'm a little scared, yeah, I mean, you're going in a fight, and not just, you know, like a street fight, you're going against someone who's trained, you know, not as hard as me, but, you know, they've trained just as much, you know, but, um, I mean, I didn't feel anything, you know, um, it was just, I was more focused on everything, you know. I mean, well, it didn't go my way, you know. It, it was a quick knockout, you know. They, I mean, I was up, but I didn't go down. But I mean, you know, they want to look out for you. So, I mean, I still look at it like I went through the whole process. I got in there, fin you know, I finally got in there, was able to, you know, for them to call my name and all that. So, I mean, even with the loss, I mean, just the experience there was enough for me to say, this is exactly what I want to do. He's a game fighter, and, and he deserves to be in there. So I'm happy to see him in there. Some guys are, they love competition. They, they're ready to go, right? Game day fighters, right? They're ready. They don't need much. They need me to just coax them and, 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 and help them, you know, calm down, if, not, if nothing else. Like, hey, calm down, relax, you're gonna be fine. Um, that's unusual, though. People that don't need a lot of help on, on fight day are great, but, but that's unusual. 
to, I mean, to win, to be able to show, you know, that Yamasaki is the best, you know, gym, not just in, you know, Northern Virginia, but just period, you know. Like I said before, the training partners, you know, I, I was definitely ready. I definitely felt ready. They wouldn't have not put me in there if I wasn't ready. So, you know, it's not, I don't have doubts about that. So, so this is also with that too, it kind of goes with how, you know, my lifestyle is and everything. Just, you know, you're in there, it's you, you know, take the advice that you got from, you know, before and all that, and then just go. It's funny that there's other gyms in this particular area. And most of these other gyms, we all know each other, we're all friends, right? There's no animosity. Everybody thinks there's these giant rivalries, but truth is, is that we're behind the scenes talking, sharing numbers, talking about students. Um, I would love it if every Taekwondo gym and Karate gym overnight became a Jiu-Jitsu gym. The way I look at it, that's not competition. That's me being happy that the sport's progressing. If everybody was doing Muay Thai and Jiu-Jitsu, I'd be happy with that. You come in and you're not meat. We're not going to show you that we're better than you and just beat you down and make you feel worthless, you know? We know how to be competitive. We want to we wanna compete. We want to we wanna say we do combat sports. I'm big on saying we don't do martial arts. You know, we do combat sports. You need to be an athlete to be in sports. Um, we're not here to learn self-defense. That's a, a different conversation. Um, but you're going to be training with people that are competitive, so you're going to have to be, learn to be in an environment like that. But at the same time, it's welcoming, and you know, we're not just going to smash you. Very cool.